The Division of Clinical Anatomy at Stanford University has a long tradition of innovating to assist in the teaching of medical students. In the 1950s, Professor David Bassett, working in collaboration with William Gruber, inventor of the Viewmaster, created an influential stereoscopic photographic atlas of human dissection still in use to this day. In the 1980s, Dr. Robert Chase, then head of the Division of Anatomy, continued to research the use of 3D models for visualizing the human body. Dr. Chase, who also founded the Stanford Hand Center, shared an interest in the intersection of art and anatomy, a disciplinary nexus that dates back to the days of the Renaissance anatomist Andreas Vesalius. This connection continues to underpin division courses such as art and anatomy, that are designed to promote an understanding of human structure both physically and aesthetically. Stanford Anatomy continues to innovate under the supervision of current division chief, Dr. Shakti Srivastava. During his tenure, we have developed a sophisticated platform for viewing human anatomy models in 3D. This platform is now used extensively for the study of anatomy and for research in a variety of disciplines, such as 3D immersion techniques for surgical training, virtual representation of biomechanical motion, and the superimposition of anatomical models on the real world, a technique known as augmented reality. As our development team, led by Matthew Hassel, experimented with this new technology, Dr. Paul Brown, consulting associate professor of anatomy at Stanford, suggested the possibility of displaying the internal anatomy of the hand using the Rodin sculptures. To realize this cutting-edge dream, ScanSight was brought in to obtain high-quality 3D scans of several of the sculptures at the Cantor Museum. This complicated process involves stitching together multiple captures from more than a dozen different angles. The scans are then merged to create a single 3D file. Our medical artist, Sarah Hegman, carefully crafted the raw data into optimized, accurate representations of the sculptures. Next, actual patient CT scans from the hand clinic were used to create 3D models of the internal anatomy and placed into the virtual sculptures. Finally, our computer programmers Han Thung and Zhou Lang wrote the extensive software code to enable the interactivity for museum visitors to see, through the iPad, inside Rodan's hands. <laughs>